Well, now it's time to welcome our in-house scientists standing by to explain the most complicated science theories in words of one syllable or less. Dr Emily Grossman. <laughs> Lovely to see you, Emily. Nice <laughs> to see you. So, words in one syllable. Headlines this week. <laughs> Get your hankies out. The weepies are coming. Yeah, right. So, scientists have actually figured out exactly what it is that makes us cry in movies. And filmmakers are going to try and use this to come up with the perfect formula for the ideal tearjerker and make them loads of money at the box office. So, they reckon they've got a formula. Yeah, so they wired people up to machines and made them sit through old movies with teary scenes. And at key moments, they looked to see which parts of their brain lit up. And they found that people are most likely to cry when they're watching scenes that sort of reflect life events, like a, a father dancing with a bride at her wedding, or like passages that are the, the passing of time, like the first few minutes of this Disney movie, Up. And they found that women are most likely to cry when they see men showing their vulnerability, whilst men are more likely to cry watching father-son scenes or heroic deaths, like in Save It Private Ryan. Right, OK, it's all <laughs> sorted now, then. It makes, it's just goodness, really, isn't it? Things being nice and lovely. You know, Tom Hanks is the actor that makes most men cry, apparently. Really good. Well, he does goodness very well, doesn't he? <laughs> yes. Now then, Nobel Prize for the scientists who track down our brains sat nav. Yes, so the Nobel Prize has just been awarded to three neuroscientists who figured out which parts of our brain work out where we are and how to navigate ourselves around. And this research has spanned ten decades. It started in the 70s by a US British citizen called John O'Keefe at University College London. And he figured out the what's called the place cells in a rat's brain that tells this at uh, the rat where he is. And then the second part of the prize was won by a married couple, actually, in Norway in 2005, who worked out what's called the grid cells, which are sort of um, like an internal coordinate system so that the rat can navigate like a GPS in its can, own brain. Can this be used for good? Exactly. Well, it's thought that we have human equivalents in our brain no. and it will help understanding of diseases like Alzheimer's and dementia, where people lose their way and forget how, how to find their way home. That is a brilliant thing. Well yeah. worthy of the Nobel Prize. 